Well, now, I've started to do a lot of bird photography lately, like eagles in flight, osprey, heron, that type of thing. been using a gimbal sometimes like this. Uh, keeps me steady. But sometimes with the 300 millimeter and the 2X on there, you're looking at a pretty long lens, and you start looking for the bird, and they're hard to find. Now, I managed to find something on eBay slightly used here and I bought it. It's the dot site, the EE1 Olympus dot site. Now, it actually pin registers to the camera. You put it in here. Once you've got it set up and it'll, it locks down to the camera and it's pretty close. I usually check how focus on a distant object. I'll point the camera so that the, a, a noticeable spot is right in the middle of my screen on the back. Using a uh, uh, live view and um, I'll look through there and then I'll line up the site. You have adjustments for left and right and up and down so you make sure that you're right on. And I've found that to work really well especially when I'm hand holding things like I don't use the camera on the tripod all the time and uh, I like to just run and gun like this whoa sorry about that I gave you a nasty knock but uh, anyway I'll be looking through the camera and I can follow a bird in flight and I found this has really changed my photography quite a bit now I have had a problem with this what happens to me is the brim of my hat will screw things up here, so uh, I've found that I'm better off when I'm using this to wear a little bit of a tooth or something like that. I really like this hat, but I have to put it way back if I'm going to use it like this, and that's doable, you know. But uh, anyway, having a tooth on keeps the hair out of my eyes and everything works well. Now I'll set the camera, my usual settings. And I'll have bird detect on, so if, if I'm looking for a bird, that is, if I'm looking for an animal, well, I'll set it for animals. I haven't photographed any cars or any racetracks or anything like that with it, but it's worked really well on the eagles and the osprey. I'll put some pictures up. And watching a, a couple of geese flying down the river, I'm just able to pan along like that and get them. It worked out really well. So anyway, that's, uh, that's what I'm doing right now, and it's working out really well for me. Because with this you get to see the whole area, and just your little crosshair in the middle where you're going to put the bird, or whatever your subject is. And I can pan along with it, and it's worked out really well. Now I have had problems when uh, birds come in too close, and I'm following them, and I'm shooting and shooting and shooting, and I look, and... I look, I got a right foot, a left foot, I got the tail, um, the bird is like way too big, so you do have to keep an eye on your screen. But a lot of times I'll get the animal or the bird on target and then I'll switch to looking through the eyepiece and I'll be all set. But as I said, the tube works a lot better for Wow, this. the sun is peeking out through the clouds right now. So this is what I prefer to wear as a toque, it keeps the, my ear tips covered and keeps the sun off my ears and I can get close and and follow my subject much better so I found this to be a really good investment and uh, just closes down like that when you close it the lights off and saving battery and I will usually I'll check it out when I when I first put this on I'll sight it in again and make sure that it's just perfect because, you know, things can get moved a little bit. And it works great. I found, well, I've taken so many more pictures, though. It takes a lot more editing. And also, uh, the new features in Lightroom, the new noise reduction. Well, my goodness, what a difference that's made in my photographs. I'm looking at some of my pictures from way back in the past. Some uh, stars and some of the Aurora Borealis that I photographed in Yellowknife, re-editing those with the new Lightroom. 
What a difference it makes in them. It's like, you know, like having a new camera. I want to take this up to Yellowknife in the future, like maybe this year. I'd really like to get some Aurora with the OM-1. It's going to be great. Well, as soon as I had the Red Dot EE-1 sight on my camera and had it sighted in, I headed off to the Eagle's Nest to see what I could find. I got some stills for a contingency, then I started shooting video. I wanted a little bit of video of the birds on the nest, and I wasn't disappointed. Got some great video clips. I found that I could find my subject easy, and when things changed, I was able to track the birds going out of the nest or coming in. It was so much easier to find my subject just by putting the red dot on them. Mary shot this video while I was taking the other pictures. There's some great audio on this eagle. Again, I could just track the birds when they flew off the nest or overhead. Another bird came along, probably an osprey. I was able to follow it quickly. Here I am on the dam, photographing a heron sitting in his tree. I'm set up with this site and it's working just great. Some video and stills. What great stills I got. Noise reduction and Lightroom came through again. Thanks for visiting Bella's Vistas. Please like, subscribe, and come on back again real soon.